transform your hair with hair growth products by 12 tribes on earth. Experience natural, powerful ingredients that promote thicker, longer, and healthier hair. Say goodbye to thinning and hello to confidence. Hair growth oil, shampoo, spray, and butter by 12 tribes on earth because your hair deserves the best. Just look for the links in the comment section. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Police Chief Beverly Banks. And she made a statement on audio saying that she did not want to hire black and Hispanic female police officers because they got too much attitude. Now, I am not going to lie to you. When I first saw her photo, I thought this was a dude. I did not know this was a woman. So she's out of Atlanta. And black woman police chief says she doesn't want to hire black or Hispanic women due to their attitudes. Mm -mm -mm. They said this police chief woman was taken to a sunken place mentally to a whole new level when she declared during a command staff meeting that she doesn't want to hire any more black or Hispanic women as police officers because they come into the force with too much attitude. According to Fox 5 Atlanta, Atlanta VA Medical Center Police Chief Beverly Banks, who you're looking at, was captured on audio. From September 13th, 2023, command staff meeting attended more than a dozen people were also at this meeting and she says, I am to the point, I don't want to hire black women no more. I'm to the point, I ain't got no white women beating down my door to come in and work. But I wish they would because I don't have these problems. I don't have no Hispanic women. Hell, I don't want them either. Because you know what comes with it. A whole lot of effing attitude. And I don't want it. I'm the only one with the attitude in this place. Me. Wow. Wow. First of all, you know the narrative that racism in policing comes down to a few bad apples is some bluish white nonsense when an officer of the law can casually declare their discriminatory attitudes towards black people while other commanding officers just sit there and nod along like it's just another Tuesday. To be fair, Banks and two other commanding officers were suspended with pay last month due to what the Veterans Affair called unacceptable behavior. But that doesn't change the fact that she felt comfortable enough to say what she said without fear of repercussions. And by repercussions, suspension, which many people call a vacation. Also, it's worth mentioning that it wasn't just the clear hatred of black women with attitudes that came from a black woman who clearly has a bad attitude that got banks suspended. The suspensions of the officers also revolve around allegations of ex assault and harassment. Wow. Mm -mm. Months before she arrived, VA Internal Affairs examined the case of Shanika Jackson. She accused Deputy Johnny McClure of S 
assault. So they have, it sounds to me like that location have a lot of problems with the cops. In December of 2023, another black woman with the department filed a handwritten complaint with her supervisor accusing McCuller, who she said is black, of threatening to drag her down the hallway by her hair. And while it's unclear what happened with the complaint during the department-wide meeting, the next month, Banks reportedly told McCuller, Deputy Chief McCuller, if you don't know how to talk to people, tell me now so I can do whatever I need to do to get you disciplined again. It is unclear what the discipline would entail since the S assault allegations determined to be accurate and truthful wasn't enough for him to get the ax. According to the EEOC, the complaint filed by Jackson McCuller offered to help her get a job with the private security company the Atlanta VA also uses, but that offer came with the condition that she would perform acts for him. Oh, really? All right. So Jackson said McCuller then exposed himself to her. Wow. Wow. Jackson was ultimately demoted and transferred while she happened to say she finally filed a complaint after she failed to show up for work the next day, the private security company fired her and denied it had anything to do with her complaint. McCuller, Banks, and a third officer with the department, Major Darrell Gates, all received a duty pending a VA investigation to address the challenges in the VA police department, as well as investigate the situation in the Atlanta police department, make recommendations related to the three individuals and identify other changes that might be needed to improve the culture. Gates has since been reinstated. It is unclear what role he plays. The unacceptable behavior that is still under investigation. As for Banks, a VA spokesperson for Fox, um, of her remarks about hiring Black and Hispanic women, there's no place for racism or discrimination at VA, and these comments are unacceptable. Well, y'all gonna have to tell me what you think about this one. This is a crazy story to me. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.